Hey guys, so I am answering a question that I saw on the forum. Actually a response to a post that I made in 2018. So I wanted to go over your first animation with you. Right now I did a just a little outfit for this fellow and I'm gonna go ahead into my animation uh, section. I'm gonna add an animation. And the question was why don't my clothes move with the animation? So when you first load it, you're loading just raw data for the avatar. Your clothing has not been added to this avatar. So as you can see at the bottom, there's no listing for your garment. So the guy will just walk out of your clothes, your clothes will stay there because you did not animate the clothing. So you have to click on record. Sounds so easy, too easy to be believed, but it is that easy. You hit record and then frame by frame, the software will take your clothing and bind it to the avatar's motion so that in the end, your avatar and your garment will have the same motion as the motion you selected. So as you can see at the bottom, you have a transition bar you have the motion bar and you have the garment bar, which is just loading. So your transition loads with the animation. If you click that button, which you do need it because you're right now you're uh, draping or you're creating your clothing in an A pose and then you are going to animate it. So you need a transition to go into the animation for it to look uh, seamless. Put it that way. You could try it without. I, you're not going to like it. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to speed this up a bit. And as you can see, if you want to change views during the um, animation, you could just keep hitting two and it will just bring you back to the front of the avatar. Um, I had a little clipping there, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, adjust my pattern in just a second. And I'll just take you guys on that journey because once you touch the pattern, change the resolution, fix anything then uh, you're gonna have to start all over with your animation so even right now if I decided to use the magic fingers and pull his t-shirt down that will be recorded in my animation so you need to make sure that your clothing is fitting properly so that when the avatar moves you don't have the temptation of pulling something out or pulling something to the side because that will be recorded in your animation and when you play it back you won't like it you'll have to start all over again anyway so guys these are my tips in 10 and uh i posted this on the on the clo forum you're going to see that in a minute so let's just talk about um motion so now you have to just like wait for the whole thing to finish and then what you're going to see is your garment is fully animated. Excuse me. I don't know what that was. Animated. <laughs> your garment's fully animated. And here it starts off in animation stable and frame stepping. So frame stepping, once it's recorded, shows you like really fast what's, what's happened with your animation. So you can kind of stop and start there. Uh, but what you really want to see is real time walk that will have the pace and the tempo that you're wanting right there where you see the one X, you can change the speed. If you click that button, you can click half speed, quarter speed, double time, etc. All right. If you want to remove the grid on the floor, you can go to display and, uh, environment and you can take off the, uh, show 3d grid. So right now you could also change format the background, which I'll make it a little darker. I don't know. It just looks nice. Something to show you. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and change the pattern because I don't like what his crotch is doing there. Somehow I never give enough room. Oh boy. Okay. So let's go back into my, um, editor and I'll show you what, what's going to happen. I'm going to tweak this pattern a little bit. I could change that shoulder slope, which is really drastic, but I didn't. Um, but I will go ahead and give him a little bit more sleeve relax so that the back of his uh, uh, t-shirt's not clipping. 
And then I'm just going to change the pitch of these pants. Right now, he doesn't have enough rise and he doesn't have uh, the correct pitch, which is causing some drag lines in the front and the back. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that and then I'll add a crease to it. So I get a little bit busy starting to fit the garment, which this is going to happen when you start to animate and you start to see that things are going wrong in your animation. You're going to have to start all over again. But once you fix it, once you see that, then you're going to be tempted to go back and reshape and refix. So this is totally normal. I'm just showing you the process that once you tweak it, once you fix your pattern, it's like a brand new garment. So it will not be listed in your animation. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit and get rid of those drag lines going up. At some point I figure it out that it's the pitch of the inseam going in too much from the out seam. Men are very straight, so let's straighten him out a bit and get rid of those drag lines because those are for curvy ladies. Those don't belong on men. So straighten out the leg and we'll get rid of that. So guys, you know, like I said, you're going to want to trial and error before you get set with the final animation. So it's okay to just perfectly do it over and over again. Hopefully you'll get to know the little nuances and you only have to do it once or twice like me. So I'm going to add a little crease. And if I change the uh, line angle to the fold angle rather to 90, I get a nice little crease. But I just want to zoom in and I want to make sure I need to go ahead and render. Yes, and make sure that that crease is sticking out like that. That's what I want to see. So let's go back. His side seams don't match, but forget about it. And you see all of a sudden, I have to drag this back in. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so all of a sudden, my garment animation is gone. So this means I'm going to put him back to the side of the screen, and then I'm going to go ahead and there's garment once i press record garment shows up and it's going to go through the whole process again if i want to remove the lines you could also go to 3d garment and you can start unchecking things that you want to remove and that's it so this is for a forum question and i'll show you guys that uh, you can go on clo 3d form forum and look up Dorel 22 and you'll see some of the questions I've asked in the past some really deep conversations but this one just popped up on my phone so I wanted to go ahead and make a little video about it because back in 2018 I was having a problem with it and there's so many more people right now that are just learning the program I figure I'd make a little video about it because I never did I just learned it and moved on it's somewhere in my other animation videos but I wanted to be specific on this so basically, it seems that when you first use the program, like me in the beginning, um, the avatar, you just automatically believe that the avatar <laughs> is supposed to walk with the clothing. But the avatar and the clothing are separate until you render them together. So this was my answer uh, a few minutes ago, and then I just made this video. So if your garment is not moving, if you don't have those three bullet points in the bottom that means your garment will not animate so uh, guys I hope you can uh, check out the forum and check out the discussion and check me out on Instagram and just ask me questions I like to answer questions for people so these are my tips in 10 so now that you have your garment animated right you can go ahead and you could actually hide it won't re-record so you could press record all you want by now it won't re-record unless you change something but you can hide the avatar so your garment this is called ghost ghost avatar well your garment is animated your avatar is no longer dependent on your garment's no longer dependent on the avatar. You can hide the avatar. The garment will move. If you delete the avatar, oh, no, 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 no. So that's my tips and 10, guys. Bye.